Yes. There we are. The traveling has become very difficult these days, purely because of the uh, purely because of the amount of tourists that travels around today uh, with money. So the simple tra traveler is being hassled the same way, and they're ignored. Anyway, that said, I'm at the Two Duck Tombs here at. This is called the jackfruit. You can eat it sweet or it can be cooked. Huh? You can have two ways. Jackfruit cooked or when it's ripe you can eat. The kings and the queens and they all one must remember. They're human beings and they're dead and gone. Here is their place of resting. Yes. So we have got the tombs and the old historical sections of Two Duck Tomb Complex. There's window blinds, window, sliding window, still going, fabulous, don't you think? Yeah, the largest uh, inscription in the entire Vietnam for and also the most solidly constructed tomb, one of the sections of the tomb. The script, inscription on the stilt, stilly. The largest in Vietnam is a self-critical autobiography by the Emperor Tu Doc. Hmm. Life story of his self. The Emperor 
Tudok. It's inscribed on this stone. The pillars have also been constructed so that uh, the emperor or the king could go from this world to the next world, arising from this earth up to the sky. Mmm. No idea about that. Have a look at this. It's from the old days. It's amazing. Here's the Emperor's tomb. Now, people are asking me along this journey because I'm carrying two cameras with me. And they're asking me if I'm a professional. I said, no, I cannot be a professional because I'm still alive. And all we think, all we put into our mind is, is what we think of. Carrying two cameras can't be a professional. It's what's been told that if you carry two cameras, you become a professional, or that's the thought of it. Yet again, this is why I'm saying constantly, we as human beings, to the reference is our mind that reaches out to. Beyond those references, our minds stop to think, or our minds stop to process the data and what we see. Here's the tomb of Tudok. Here's a tomb of Tudor in a very peaceful forest and it's being cleared away to rest him in this quiet space. We should remind ourselves nothing lasts forever. Even this tomb complex has been derelict and it's broken and it's sinking on the outside. The middle section is still holding high up. And uh, yeah, so the king or queen or anyone who's in a human form is unable to stay on forever and then nothing lasts forever. All things we do, all things we are human remains only for a very temporary moment of time compared to the nature the elements of the nature, the true living matter of this nature has been living here for longer than the humans have evolved. So we need to be very careful in our future thought and future of our planet, future of our life. And most of all, we need to remember that whatever we do, we do it for a temporary time on this ever-changing world, an ever-fragile world that we live in. So, my dear fellow viewers, you may find this video kind of expressing about not the history, but about the impermanence of life, the temporary existence of life. And my respect to this emperor and the, the life that he lived and to know how many creations of good and bad was devised out of his life during his time in a physical form on this earth. And I hope it has left a legacy for the outsiders as well as for the insiders of this nation to protect and remind ourselves of our ancestral history or at least for the people who were born on this land, for their ancestral history and their past. Yes, remember, the emperor is on his own here. The people who admired him, who followed him, who were part of his life, who worshipped him in majority of the time, is no longer here to even accompany him in his peaceful state of life. His physical part of life has left long gone 
Yet when I walk away from here, he be left alone. And that's what we are in human form. The graciousness and the greatness of these human human lives. And uh, we evolve through time, we evolve through journey of our life. And every journey put ourselves into a reference of our experience, reference of our visual impact and how we see the life, how we see the earth, how we see the interaction of our life, and so on. So, see the tourists don't exist on this part of the planet. They just come and do the trail that sucks everything out of the earth. The same trail, up and down. Here, it's still preserved in its glorious feeling. Okay, I've been challenged to find this location and I did. And no tourist about, which means that the tourists would not see this particular image that's on the World Heritage's homepage for this particular site in Hawaii. Tomb of the Sun. Beautiful. Once again, no one here, no t not even the tourists are here. So, a resting place of another gracious poet or gracious human being who's left our physical world and gone to the world of their own, which is very powerful. Here on this earth, we are powerful only by means of power, aggression and greed. Another world, the non-physical world is very powerful because the spirit, as we call it, it's the word of the spirit. That word, beyond that, is no understanding for us here on this physical earth. Because we, until we leave this physical life, from this earth, we will not be able to experience thereon. So, with gracious respect for the dead and gone, they're in their peace. And no suffering, no struggle. And who would there, who would we know, or how would we know if there's no suffering and pain after the physical departure from this physical earth or physical world. An amazing and a powerful shrine. The one about respect. An amazing feeling. Especially when you don't have any tourist tourists to bring that amount of noise and amount of uh, vibration through talking of not what is graciously peaceful but is also very powerful because you can remember you can touch you can engage the notion of feeling and that notion of being some while back, very difficult to explain. You've got to be here physically yourself. Look at the silence. There's nothing about there. It's the gardens, the pine, the pine forest, the sparkle of the shine of that pine, the pine needles. Just reminds you the living element is very prevalent for our existence. The sparkle of the water, which also brings life, is amazing. The freshness of this air is also still protected in its essence. Beautiful. It's two chairs. Do you think it's wonderful to sit beside each other, reflect about a journey of life? How incredible. 